What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. So the mix that you guys just saw was myself and my dad doing our yearly trip to this place where we come and pick our Christmas tree. We had it cut down and we actually spent a good half hour looking, picked out the chosen one and now it's time to go home and set it up. See you guys there. That ain't gonna fit. Come on. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells rock. Jingle bells ring and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, but this was fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Okay, so let me just give you guys a little bit of insight into how things can not necessarily go wrong, but how things can change as you go throughout filming a video when you are creating content. See, this was initially supposed to be just a normal vlog, I would go throughout one day, go throughout another day, and then, you know, it would just piece together and make a 10 minute or so video like it normally does. However, this one kind of, I was filming lots of different clips, I was filming, you know, I, I filmed the, the, the two mixes that you guys have already seen, and then I, I filmed another one, which, which you're going to see in a minute, but I wasn't really filming things in between and sometimes that happens, especially when you're creating content as often as I do. I do two videos a week, one every Wednesday and one every Sunday. So two videos a week is, you know, a relatively high volume of content for someone who's a student and has sort of other things to do. You know, this isn't my job, but I still do it a hell of a lot. So things can change and so this video is kind of turned into a Christmas roundup. So I've, I've, sh I've got lots of different things that have happened around the Christmas period and thought it would be kind of cool to sort of bring it together into a kind of a story and uh, yeah, show you guys my Christmas and you know, allow you guys to tell me your experiences as well. So I know Christmas is gone, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, but it's actually Boxing Day at the time of filming this and so I'm wearing my Christmas jumper. This is actually a, uh, I got this for free when I got my body power ticket it last year and I did a giveaway uh, of the spare one that I had. So anyway, the idea of this sort of roundup video is to make this kind of period after Christmas, the period in between Christmas and New Year, the weird bit where no one really knows what to do or what to celebrate, it's going to make it a little bit less weird and allow us to keep the Christmas spirits high. So the next part of the video is going to be the little mix that I did. Uh, we actually went over to Charlotte's and went to the German market. It's a massive market in the centre of Birmingham uh, and we also had a gym session or two. So let's go. <laughs> I'm having to whisper, but the next Christmassy task is to wrap up all of the presents that I have. This uh, the stuff that I'm doing right now is for Charlotte, uh, and it's going up after Christmas Day, so I will be able to show you what I've bought her. Okay, so working from left to right, this is what we have at the minute. Just like a this is like a teddy bear uh, onesie kind of thing, which is kind of cool. It's got like a a belly and a fluffy hood and everything like that. These are some shoes, and these are the main present, um, because I know that she's going to absolutely love these. She loves anything shoey, trainery, kind of, yeah. And then these are just some stocking fillers, because I have some stocking, I have a stocking with her name on it, like that. Uh, so, yeah, this is just going to get all scrunched up and uh, thrown in there. So, um, yeah, that is that. Um, and then, of course, we have Amsterdam in January. Brilliantly wrapped. Uh, absolutely brilliant from me there. <laughs> it's the thought that counts.
Now what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of the shoebox completely. It looking like there's less presents, which is not a big deal anyway. But if you have a shoebox, then it's pretty obvious that you've bought someone shoes before they even open the gift. So I think I might get rid of this box and hide the shoes in the onesie. Get her to open all the stocking stuff first and then she'll open the onesie thinking it's like a hoodie or, or uh, pyjamas or something like that and then she'll be surprised that she's got this cute onesie and then the shoes will fall out. So I think that's kind of cool um, and just a nicer way for her to be surprised rather than kind of look at the box and the wrapping and go, okay, yeah, he's bought me a pair of shoes. Charlotte's Christmas done and of course next on the list was the last minute food shop everybody can relate to this everybody has been there and you always forget something roll the clip here comes Santa Claus here comes Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane Xing and Xing and all his reindeers pulling on the reins Bells are ringing children singing all is merry and bright so hang your stockings and say your prayers cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Next up was our yearly tradition. We go to the next door neighbours, the kitchen's house, and we go and have a few drinks and just have a catch up because we don't get to do it very often and it's a Christmas tradition ever since I was a little kid. Alrighty guys, so we are back from the kitchen's house now. And um, it's really nice. Like, I mean, we didn't have too much to drink. Uh, I think I had like a few ciders, but that's about it. So like. You know, just casually having a catch up because we, we live next door to them, but we don't actually get to speak to them as like quality time, if you like, like, like we do then. Uh, we don't get to do that very often, so it's, it's, uh, it's a nice little get together and uh, kind of a Christmas tradition. Comment your family's Christmas traditions in the comment section down below. I'd love to know uh, what you guys get up to with your families in the holidays. So I've got a few more presents to wrap up, just some sweets to add to the presents that you saw earlier on in the video. And um, yeah, so that's that. And I will see you guys on Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> it's um, 10 past 7 in the morning now. And I, um, I actually woke up at about half past 6. Um, but decided to go back to sleep because this is the first year in our household that there's no kids. So I've got to try and not be excited, being 20 years old and all that. But there's no real guarantee of that. I, uh, I, I absolutely love Christmas. So it's ten past seven. I'm probably just going to wait until about half seven and then um, we'll go downstairs. We'll see if Santa's been. <gasps> oh, he's been! Gonna have some Christmas Nutella on toast because my sister, my brother in law, and my nieces and nephews bought me it. Yes, that's right. Ah, my family's better than yours. I want to do paper. Charlotte did come over, and don't worry, like I said earlier in the video, she did like the trainers. I kind of knew she would, but you know, you always you always doubt yourself if you uh, if you have to buy someone a gift that um, you know you worry that they're not going to like it. You want them to enjoy your presents. So next stop, Amsterdam. Okay, not entirely sure where I left you guys last. Uh, I've just been spending time with the family, and I think that's kind of important around Christmas. So, like I said, this video has been a kind of roundup. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of things that. I get to do around Christmas time with my family and everything like that. So we are finishing the night off with just a couple of drinks. Um, Cause it's bulking season, we can have full fat drinks <laughs> rather than uh, a Bud Light or something like that. 
That's like white, I didn't expect it to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos, this kind of different story type kind of video thing. Yeah, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you have a very happy New Year. There will be vi uh, videos coming very soon. New Year content, Amsterdam content, of course, is actually two weeks today of the day of filming. So that will be coming very, very soon. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year. I'll see you guys next time. As always, remember, no regrets. See you in the next video. Jingle bells, jingle bells, rock. Jingle bells.